the thing about streaming the thing about streaming before you do a stream is if you need to do a midstream while streaming <laughs> you have to go for a stream between the two streams you have to go for a stream between the two streams <laughs> good evening everybody i am lad tea maker on behalf of the game on players our podcast and content creators and first of all thank you very much track 57 for the raid and also thank you very much for the raid geo aka reese's wave and kamikaze kit thank you very much for the host i am here so let's get started So yes, hello, good evening, welcome. We're just going to take a little drink. <clears throat> My throat has been very dry today again. Don't know what's going on. But I am Lad Teammaker on behalf of the Game World Plays Our Podcast. Welcome in to the PC stream on a Thursday evening. Now, the game is going to be a little different. Oh, we we start. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to restart the st start stream. Steam, what's going on? Not like this. Not like this. Not tonight. So yes, yeah, so while we are waiting, and Steam is restarting, um, I'm going to be starting a game tonight. It is called Anachronox. Anachronox, pretty much. I do not know fully what the game is about. I know it's an RPG, and I know it's a sci-fi RPG. So, let us get into it and see what it's all about. Now this was back from 2001 it, this was released. And yes, it has to be this way. Unfortunately. This won't go further over. This won't. But yeah, how is everyone? Hope you're okay. Hope you're good. Hope you can hear us okay. And I've not been talking to myself. I didn't turn my microphone on, didn't I? You can't hear me. Can you hear me? <laughs> buggers. Yo, buggers. Right. <laughs> so. I'm sort of torn between either starting this on really easy or normal. Because of the save game area is in Time Minders on there. But on easy, save anywhere during free play. Let's do it really easy. Let's start there. So it begins. But yeah, how is everybody? Are you alright? You are good? Apparently this has been really underrated. I'll see if he uses the controller. I also believe it's on Steam for 97 points. And has a 7.9 rating. Twitch being a glitch, yeah. <coughs> Sounds about right for, for Twitch, doesn't it? What's this? Thank you very much for the auto house coming flying in. Say so big things happening this weekend around the channels, myself and Dick Whipping.
It's getting very buffery for you. I don't think there's any drop frames. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, and get punched in the face. I mean, that's a way to start off, isn't it? Stop hitting me! <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna go out the window, aren't I? I'm gonna go out window! Eee! Goodbye! and match. <laughs> yes, you are called Boots. Hit me. Hasn't there been enough of that? <laughs> Have a heart. One of Detta's kids? Anyone else throwing me out of windows lately? Come clean with the dead, Sly. Dead is no slouch, and he's got muscle. He'll collect one way or the other. Hey. Money's tight. As soon as it rains... Yeah, pour. I'll pour some. I'd suggest a job if I thought you'd take it. Try me. The key to my cellar's missing. Oh, uh, yeah? Where's the job part come in? When you find it, and I pay you. Man, I need a real case. I need a challenge worthy of my deductive and pugilistic skills. <clears throat> but I've got a bouncer. Cute. You want some real advice? Find a job. It's amazing how many of your problems it'll solve. You think? Fatima! Okay. Anything on sender net? Nothing you're sober enough for. I'm just waiting for business to pick up. What's with the attitude? For one, I'm sick of being dead. And second, I'm tired of watching you drink your life away. When did you become such a bum? I'm not a bum. Prove it. Bums don't have offices. An office isn't a storage room in a cheap bar, Boots. Hey. It's time for a new line of work. Forget it, sweetheart. I'm a detective. It's what I do. Then go out and do it. I'm always here if you ever get off your butt and make useful. It feels that way, doesn't it? So it is not, it is not controller, it is not controller, okay, it is not controller, so F1, so do this stuff because I ain't letting you leave rowdies without a clue, so get the camera off your desk, find some money in your office, try to back from maybe, you were. use the time minder over there for luck and get yourself a little job lead. Okay, so we got that, and so we have inventory, stats, equipment, blah. Options. 
we won. <clears throat> Subtitles and voiceovers, that's what we want. Save points anywhere, yes. via PC but we'll, we'll get used to it we'll get used to it certainly storage because he said it was a storage room at the back didn't it? Yeah. hello teams have been out of the commission all year size B batteries are scarce around the bricks, otherwise I would have juiced them up as soon as I could. Games, thank you very much for the host. Lost the key to the back room a long time ago, but I bet I can pick up the lock. Okay. Pull down control key. Right, so I guess the code for me to tell me that I'm clicking the up and down arrows. Did you all by using up and down arrow keys and click on the tumbler and press space to try that number? Or hit a meter on the handle of the lockpick will help you show you how close you are. That money fell out of my pockets, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Found some dough. Actually, I'm going to have to try and move that down for you guys so you can see it as well. Because me bits in the way. Seems interesting. Tell you what, let's do that now. Let us move uh, the cheer bar. Go pop. So you guys can see that because it's above. Got the money. We got the monies. Now where we go? See? Is it normally 
escape. It is, right, so that's a mark. Use a time minder over there for luck. Uh, find yourself a job lead, so. A long dead alien city, planet for inside, and one. Do. I mean, there's no real good place to put my bloody thing, is there? Yeah, peep peep telly hair and all that. See the bricks. Well, let's see if we can talk to people. Hey, boots, it's glass in your hair. <laughs> it's all the rage, is it? All the rage, is it? Is it? Is it? I mean, this, this one's going to be interesting to get into. You know, because again, even though it's an RPG, because it's on PC and control, it's not in my wheelhouse as such. I'm nervous. Feels the time for any sentiments to recognize this thing, okay? A man definitely has to eat. <laughs> funny guy, funny guy. Buy me a drink and I'll tell you the secret to successful fighting. The gut warmer. Of course I'd buy. My God, he had long arms. <laughs> success fight was learning your chops at Whackmaster Temples or Jack's Temple of Beating he'll teach you the ropes and cuts and the beats I'm still looking for work yep Frank's flop house. <laughs> hey man, that's like grandma got all my money at the casino, all I got left. May I sell it? <laughs> yeah, you sell it, right? Uh, the inventory? I'll have to look at the controls before I'm done though to save this thing, but we shall learn as we go. Like there's a save option. <laughs> Options, game options, explore mode, into it, configure keyboard. What is that? So move forward. I just want to see what this is. So move forward. Uh, skill is control. Last item is one. World select is, is, is space. Wow, that's it. That's it, is it? Fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Interactive mode, so. Love. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll continue. Hey, hey Boots, you okay, man? I didn't see what happened, but I heard the crash. The resilient man. I reckon. Do, do we reckon this is going to be a thing, maybe? This is going to be like um, Final Fantasy style fighting. 
You dare your friends are rowdy. Why does he discriminate against floaters? <coughs> he is discriminating against floaters. <laughs> and he wants a drink and had an, an interesting conversation. Says you must fit. Well, apparently you are. The Fountain Overlook. An exchange where we can talk to Rowdy about letting me drink in the bar. One. Uh, find a job key there, yeah. Okay, there's no French flop house. Okay, there's a floater. <laughs> Floaters. Uh, what? Well, so that's Rowdy's bar. Um, right, so I've got to talk to him. Boring, take a look at the drawing, you know, most okay. Yeah, go on, I want to see a little picture you drew. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, that shit's good, man. That shit's good. You like that shit. Right, so is there any other way out here apart from there? It's just a box. Somewhere I can't go. So yeah, I'm pretty much finding my feet with this. In both senses of the word, because, you know... Well, that's, that's me in the office, so we've got to go out here, that's what we've got to do. So as you guys know, I don't often play with mouse and keyboard controls. This is a fairly retro game. You're gonna hit me, aren't you? It is. Was it something I said? Yeah, to my sister. Probably. Because we, we were supposed to lose there, that's what we were supposed to do. I mean, it looks weird, doesn't it? Interesting, eh? Interesting. Because if this is a, you know, turn-based... ...the district of South Africa is not liable for injury or death resulting from play transition. Stand by. Transition complete. I 
hate this place. How's everyone? How what have you been doing? What have you been up to? What have you been playing? How's your day been? Four feet for forty feet to his death. Grab the path up there. Must have malfunctioned. You should wonder if you'll be ready when your number is up. Um you have lived the life you wanted to live. Dunno, maybe. I'm trying to find uh Take a floating spiral about halfway up until you reach the first corridor on your right and follow the signs to be prepared for a long walk. Okay, Tim! They, they may stay a sec. Uh, yeah, because it's Idos. How you doing, Tim? Pretty close, just head up the ramp, follow the corridor, then hang a right. Okay, thank you. Ah, see, fountain spiral, jacks. Signposts! Signposts in a game this early? No! You're having a laugh. Fine, I'll, I don't want a mountain of gravel, you monkey. Hello. Do you have the package? Oh wait, uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm just, uh, waiting for my wife. Are you really? Maybe yeah, that hot detective with a cool ride. What happened to you, man? You look awful. I got beaten up. I can remember you questioning me about a case a few years ago. A little toy robot making notes for you. Was hanging out with that really good looking Jane cute brunette number one. Whatever happened to her? She's still around. Ion Storm was now defunct. <laughs> Cooking and cleaning. I'm not bad. I mean, my throat's still a bit. But, but, but we carry on. I've just started this. This is like a new, new game in the backlog. Unfortunately, it is not that such, that such a place as this exists. I have nothing to fear in the dark of the night, for I have beefy wacky with my dispensal. Beefy whacking, ladies and gentlemen. Am I right, lads? Am I right? Am, am I right, lads? Am I right, lads? Thank you very much. Giggity. Am I right, lads? <laughs> Last night, while Charlie Holmes someone was following me, I could tell by the sound of dainty footfalls that it was a ruffian of the most generous sort. Just as he came through my grasp, I unleashed high octane beefiness on him. <laughs> Dirk McLarge, huge. <laughs> Hello, James. I broke him. Snap for snap, bone for bone. I held him like a giant paintbrush, spelling out my name on the wall with his blood. So yeah, I got your message. I was going to call. I was going to reply back. I do like it. I like it. We set up. Hit or not to hit? What well, to hit the bully boy? Yeah. 
Now you're talking. I didn't want to hit him, but you know. But I need to learn how to fight. I didn't. What were they doing? What were they talking about? Uh, excuse me, I want to get in. How do I get into here? Go to get into here. Ah, okay, fair enough. I need to go. Whack Master Jacks. But there's nothing to. I mean, did I did I go and supposed to get into there. Whack master, yes. You know, here. This place. So I cannot get in. Will not let me in. Why would it not let me in? This is what I'm. This is what I'm. I'm doing a quandary about. shoulders every guy she's gone out with. Size of the Zongball player, but she complains the dumbest dice. Well gotta be both brains and brawn, only one. She needs some help from brawn. She will love me, no they. Steady. Go on, he didn't take a swing, there's a robot target for making a joke out of you. We kids, you ain't gonna be ever gonna be somebody. You must not want it bad enough, you need to just stand in there. Beat it, smuggle. Yeah, you smuggle. Sh 
schmuckle. Ah, there we go. Judging by the choice condition of that shiner, I suspect you're here to learn the fine arts of the scuffle, the beat, the whack. The what? The what, the what, the what? No, no, I don't take loafers, I don't take fiends. I take students and I expect respect. Give me your lip and I'll fire them. Before we begin, however, there's a small matter of my training fee. Knowledge isn't cheap, but for a mere five loonies, we can begin our first lesson. Very good, let's begin with a crash course in super combat. The streets of Anacronox. Vinox hate all manner of threat, and you would do well to learn some basics. So here we go. Come, step into the ring. Where the whack <laughs> you better cut jack wise and beef up for the fundamentals so this will seem simple basic even but unless you've got a firm grasp of the firm grasp you're going to be coughing up teeth instead of wisecracks next time you're in a scuffle got it so learn the basic abilities and concepts that can make you even a infirm bag of loose change like yourself into a bastion of beef right, the first of the basics uh, basic abilities is might it indicates how physically powerful you are to fight. Something about that spare tire around your girdle tells me this ain't gonna be your forte. Might is an important attribute for both your beefiness and beat skill. Second of these is agility. Be fast, graceful, and likely to avoid a licking. True master agility can dodge you all but the most skilled attacks. Hell, someday you might even learn to dodge that robot target behind me. Right now though, I've just not seen it, Tiger. The language, the language of this. It <laughs> is, is, is an important attribute for your speed, beat, beat block skills. So the third and last of these beat skills, basic skills, is wisdom. Don't seem your forte either, but let's hope for your sake. There's still a brain cell or two rattling around in there. Oh, right, second chief, I came here to learn to fight. So far, all you've done is explain really obvious concepts. I'll give you the verbal smackdown. Oh, smackdown, yeah. <laughs> That'll teach you something useful or what? Well, that's something. Take your medicine and bridle your tongue. If you get frazzled this easily, we're gonna get gonna get sandbagged by the first graphic you get your lock horns with. Try to size up an enemy. Uh, on the quick and make fast tactical decisions in the thick of the thick. Drop your pride and use your brain, you brain squab. <sighs> right, where's the boys anti intelligence? Really? Uh, though you can't drub an opponent with brains alone, a spoonful of wisdom can help can make a little mite go a long way. Wisdom is an important attribute for your best blocks, or your beat blocks. These three main attributes, might, agility and wisdom, are what determine how good you are at all of your various skills. Until you really understand these obvious ideas, you're hopeless. Get me? Now pay attention. The main skills used in battle are beefiness, beat speed and beat block. Beefiness is your ability to do large amounts of raw damage. Your beat is how good you are at hitting someone. Speed is how fast you can attack. Your beat block allows you to avoid getting hit by your opponents. With me, Squab. Self-improvement what separates us from the, an from the animals. D does a high-caliber beat pistol, which is notably advent from your purse. Hello, Michael. How you doing? Great success. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, about that. See, I save it. It happens when you clean tail, mostly dead meat. Flight not fight. I'll let you have this old wrist and pistol. It's old, it's beat up, but it's better than a bare knuckle blood fight. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, always, always have your weapon equipped at all times. The last thing you want to worry about when alley, alley goons are kicking your teeth into kibble is getting you out your sidearm and loading it. Here, take it and equip it. Let's see if you can shoot straight, boss. So, uh, there we go. F5. Oh shit. There we 
Whenever she returns in combat battle icons will appear above the play plaque. Uh, these allow you to assist your next move in battle. So there's your free bits. Your health. Planet blow on the enemy when you click on it. Icons for all hostiles in the immediate vicinity appear. Use them. Use them to choose which one to attack. So yeah, we are move based. So the move icon allows for size five points in battle. Uh, you can only select this if it's a place to move. We will discuss this in more detail later if you decide to continue training, which we probably will. It allows you to use items in your inventory again. And you'll be able to select it if you have battle usable items in your inventory. Yes, which you can buy, blah blah blah. you to use something in the immediate environment but only if you can reach it from where you're standing. This too we can scrutinize further if you continue the training. Sense a trend here? Do we do we sense a trend? Do we sense a trend? I hope so. Right, you might have noticed it's like filling up on your battle pack. Uh, this is my friend is your battle timer. You do well to pay attention to it. Perform actions when it reaches full. So again, once it fills up, try shooting the robo target with the attack icon and clicking on his battle icon. Okay. Cancel at any time by clicking right clicking on your mouse or by hitting escape. Fight back. You can't stand for all his nets so I get stung. That's why it's important to keep an eye on your health. Ding ding ding. Health bar shows you how much life you have left. Looks like you landed quite a wallop. And they're taking up a shot and everyone will move on. Square Enix. <laughs> no back here, but you need to loosen up. You hold your gun like it's a dead rat. You gotta rest it, wrist it better. You gotta wrist it better. So you got plenty of potential, but don't let it get ahead, especially after seeing what that robot droid did to you with one hit. You're gonna need a ton of tutoring uh, if we're gonna shape you up into a bastion of unstoppable beehood. I'll tell you what. I wouldn't normally do this, but you can't learn or pay me if you're dead. Some poker, uh, some poker, some porker once paid me with a life curse shield upgrade. Since I don't even know one, why don't you take it? Oh really? You caught me on a generous day. Go ahead and apply the upgrade. I think you can see if you got it. Got it, guts. <clears throat> so now we've spiced up your life cursor. You know it's a new battle icon with four bar we haven't discussed yet. Bob and shield. Pay attention, here's the fun stuff. This new icon is for your battle skill. Battle skills are special moves uh, that you can perform during battles. They're quite powerful, but require special energy to execute, unlike beat attacks you can do every turn. So again, we're getting down to like the special stuff like in Final Fantasy. You get your limit breaks. <laughs> different numbers of boog. But enough talk, let's use your new battle skill by clicking on the battle skill icon, selecting the battle skill of your choice, and clicking on your image. So let's see how this works. So we've got that. Oh. 
enjoying yourself? I am actually. I am. It's it's. I think it's an RPG. It's an old style RPG. So let's cut it up, boy. We're just going through the ropes at the moment, so I mean, I may stop this early because to rest my voice and rest my throat. Uh, last time the robot target hit you was for 35 really up school up, up great swing and hit for 16. Quite a difference. Oh yeah, there's quite a difference. Well, congratulations, Squab. Survived the first lesson. Now that you've had the basics, we can build on them. As part of the introductory offer to the Temple of Beating, every new client gets two heal grease plus at the end of their first lesson. Nice. Just by the way the robot beat you around, you're gonna need it. Come grab me again when you're ready for your next lesson. <whistles> Boots gained a level. Lovely. So I gained a level. How do I? Level two. There we go. Nice. Went through stats quickly. <laughs> health now so that's fine goals uh for the job okay let's float oh yeah hanging over there the found overlook yes thanks flop house okay so we can, we can do those shall we do another we can do some more training here if we need to Pull up your socks and let's begin. The next major element you need to learn about is distance. The distance between you and your enemies can make all the difference in the world. For example, someone who fights with their bare hands or a stick needs to be close to the enemy in order to land a blow, while someone with a gun can attack from further away. Don't roll your eyes and be swab. For all I know, you have a scent of common sense in your cranium. To prove otherwise, I'm going to state the obvious. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> there are two attack types melee and range, yes. Melee requires the attacker to be close or range, blah blah blah, can be done from a distance. From a distance, you will smack me. I saw that. I swear to Cloud Sun, if you roll your eyes on me one more time, and I'll, <laughs> I'll knock them out for good, you hear me? How about we beat some of that attitude out of you? icon, move the movement grid over here, allowing you to select any move available node you want to travel to. Let's try an exercise. We're going to set the robo target for melee attack only, try avoiding it for as long as possible using the move button. Let's see how far those chicken legs get you. Got chicken legs! Seems fairly simple enough, doesn't it? <laughs> Not bad, it took him a while to catch up to your boss. Not the most useful tactic in battle, but it's nice to know your options at a pit in the pitch, yes it is. Listen, if you weren't gonna make a habit of getting slapped around every time I throw you in the ring, I'd better teach you how to heal yourself. I personally recommend uh Cordicon heal grease for all your healing needs. Santivartic healing grease prevents scars, infection and relieves pain. It's specially formulated compound salve that works instantly with humans, not humans and bots alike. 
imagine a downtrodden bastard such as yourself should keep one handy at all times. Hey, the Cordicon gives me a free supply of stamped heel grease every month for endorsing their product. It's a sample tube. Gives heel grease and select the icon. Yep. Gives heel grease and click on your portrait at the battle plan. Pay attention, son, the wandering mind is the first to get torpedoed. So, uh, one heel grace. Feels nice, doesn't it? You never have enough heel grease, so stock up when you have the chance, my boy. On the other hand, heel grease is unnecessary if you can never take damage in the first place. Which brings us to our next exercise. Right, so now we've made appropriate changes to the arena, I'm going to teach you something that might give you the whip hand in an encounter. Sometimes you'll have the opportunity to use the surrounding environment to your advantage. Whenever you're standing next to something that can be used in battle, the action icon will appear. Take a good look at the current moving grid. Note there are two places for you to move directly in front of you. And to the left, yeah. Step on the node to your left using the move icon and use the action icon to activate the switch there. So, uh, uh, there. You can only do that one per turn. The laser's now cutting off that node. Yep, they are. Since your robo target set to melee mode, he can't attack you. Take the opportunity to show Bedlam with your range weapon. Dust him. Ooh. Make a progress, squad. Realize that having a ranged weapon doesn't always mean you hit your intended target. Line of sight can only come into play during battle as well. For example, if somebody decides to direct the between you and the enemy, chances are you won't target them and vice versa. Okay, okay, as you can see, we're you, getting that insolent look again. You better end this lesson before you push me too far and I cane your face. Multi Dragon, thank you for the host. Grow me again when you're ready for your next lesson. So far, so good. <laughs> That's a big pew sound effect. I do not like the big pew pew pews. Right, I think. I say to give my voice a rest because it does seem a little bit. My throat does seem a little bit iffy. I'm going to call it there, but I'm going to save it. And then we'll continue this next Thursday. So, I want to thank you very much for joining us tonight. It has been, it's been, been it's been, been shorter than normal, but thank you also very much, Tracker, for having me on your bit as well. That was pretty cool. So, I... We'll sort that out. I will see you tomorrow, hopefully, for some schnooker and some uh, word maze. And then tomorrow night, Free Play Friday, with Chris and James. And Saturday, Crashes Are Us in the morning. And after the qualifying, it'll be the podcast, or the game won't play itself. Sunday, Sunday will be the Sunday service Latter day dudes. And then after the race, Something, something else, something else that, we, that you'll have to see on the podcast to find out. That's all right, Robin. You never ever have to apologise for lurking. Never. So I will see you then. Are we going to do a quick? Are we going to do a quick raid? For someone? Oh, I don't have any hot lemon here, so. I can get myself some strepsils.
that's okay. So let's have a quick look and see who's on for a raid. Dante's on, Malula's on, Oggy's on. No, let's go, let's go Oggy. We haven't seen Oggy in a while. Yeah, let's go Ogden 1974. Yeah, we'll see you later. Thank you very much for the hug, cat. Thank you. So I just want to catch it before it gets too bad, you know. I will see you tomorrow. Have a very good one. Rest up. Invalid use and oh, I know what I've done. Silly me. See ya. So I'll catch you then. Goodbye.